Good morning, traders. Welcome to Privateer FX, our Asian preview. North American wrap, a very quiet day indeed. A little bit of dollar weakness early in uh, the European session. And take a look at the euro dollar. So we got up to just shy of 120. Uh, unfortunately, we had some offers just above the figure, not get filled. And then it can then it just pretty much traded down to the lows of the day and closed down here around 26. So uh, initial failure there at the uh, psychologically important 120 level. Uh, we do have uh, we do have data. Uh, we've got preliminary GDP out of Germany. Um, we have the UK jobs number, the claiming count number. Uh, we also have Germany's ZEW sentiment, and then uh, the U.S. retail sales in uh, the North American morning. So, you know, I think the euro actually could have a bit of a range the next kind of 12 to 18 hours, just with uh, some of the data coming out. Um, let's take a look at the dollar index. Um, so we had that kind of doji-ish type day sold off for a couple of days but i kind of like this is fairly constructive you know we, we've been calling for a lower dollar um the past few days i'm starting to think that we may have done enough and we might have one more push up in dollar index a lot of the technicians are talking about kind of 94.50 to 95. Uh, you know, we've been as high as 90, 93.30 something, I believe it was, 93.42. And we're holding above the 100 day. Uh, we kind of match this low. So you know, I think this is an important daily bar, the dollar index, the euro, you know, similar, pretty ugly looking bar, actually. Uh, you know, inverted hammer closed right in the lows of the day. Seems to be some indecision here if you know, after this big down move, if we can continue lower or not. Um, dollar Swiss is the one currency that never lies. And I, I know a lot of you probably don't trade it because it just adjusts in price. And, it, you know, I don't think there's just really very little volume in it unless the SNB is stepping in trying to buy it. But same chart as a euro, just inverted. Um, this thing just does not like going down it was down here at 99.56 low for you know not a long time so is this rolling over or did today save it i think the next day or two and maybe it's retail sales is a catalyst tomorrow um the u.s has had some some poor retail sales numbers and tomorrow is actually expected to be uh the core number is supposed to be better. The the headline is supposed to be slightly weaker. So, you know, I think tomorrow could be a tell for that, um, for the dollar, and see if we're due for another few days of dollar selling, or if that was it, that few days last week. Um, see here the MACDs have crossed over in dollar Swiss. It's just a really tough pair to be short of. Uh, the weakest currency on the board again today, uh, this is, remember I was saying yesterday that we are, one of the banks had put out a sell QE recommendation and I swear there was an algo with like a, like a time weighted average price type order just selling yards today because that thing was pinned to the lows and it never bounced we're looking at this rbnz low right here 6903 was the low last week if we take that out you know i got to get you to a weekly chart because it's not even i mean look at this drop this looks like a 2007 bear stearns first hedge first hedge fund is you know, collapsing type type move. Um, you know, they've got the, I've, I read something about the mad cow disease type 
type thing going on, coupled with lower dairy prices, and, you know, this just looks awful after it consolidating, you know, for two years in kind of a 68 to 76, 77 range, you know, for the past two years, you know, we are looking at the weekly chart, but I mean, that's just, that's kind of how it, that's kind of how it drops, you know, and I think there's some yield, yield play, yield differential plays going on between the U.S. and um, New Zealand as well. Take a look at it. Here's a chart that you won't see too often. You know, we became stocky bulls right after the Riksbank meeting. And uh, we've been trying to play stocky from the long side. Here's one way of doing it. Kiwi stocky. So we obviously had a huge down day. day was that this was uh that's well, a weekly that was a huge down week last week but you know, take a look at the daily over here definitely getting oversold but we took out this key support level here at 603 and we're approaching and we're very very close to the 100 day moving average um i don't see why i can't go this is an area this confluence right here this old low 588 and the 200 day moving average which we haven't been below in a while since uh late late january comes into eight, right here 587 74 which is you know basically a almost a spread in a currency like this so this chart definitely looks ugly you know it's a combination of the kiwi weakness and perhaps the swedish kroner which has rallied about 4% against the euro in the past couple of weeks. Um, let's take a look at the Swedish, euro, euro Swedish. This is the, the, the more heavily traded one. You know, we kind of got down to this 10, 1025 level, which was a breakout. This is a big level, 20, 20 to 25, somewhere in there, I would say, is a very big level. And what we're trying to do with our you know, we're, we're seem to be increasing our following. We're trying to do, we're trying to educate them more in trading more of a relative value type, um, trading environment where you're looking at cross rates as opposed to just the dollar. So, you know, f for example, when I show you the Kiwi stocky, you know, there's a couple different stories going on there. The dollar is going to rally, it's going to sell off, it's going to do it. I think, I think trying to trade dollar yen or euro dollar is just a mugs game. Um, you know, here's a dollar yen daily chart. It seems to be running out of steam, it seems to be bored up here on the 109, you know, sub 110, double top at 110. Um, you know, still below the 200 day, above the 100 day, below some fibs. But, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of times there's a, throughout the week where it might be more of a cross rate trade as opposed to a dollar trade. And so I, I like taking the dollar out of it. And, you know, the, some of the positions I have on right now are not dollar at all. And especially when you get into this period right now where we've had a dollar rally, maybe a little bit of a stabilization of that dollar rally correction and you can a lot of times you can just take the dollar out of it and then play things like cadmex or you know which will be more affected by the by the uh, nafta negotiations speaking of dollar max here's this I had a big up day getting close to this old high this looks like it's probably going to 20 back up to these old highs I don't see why not. Dollar Turkey made a uh, new, well, it looks like it was just shy. I thought it made a new, I think this chart's wrong. I think it did make a new all-time high um, today in, uh, in early Europe. So, uh, yeah, you know, pay attention to the data because we do have something that, that, 
the German and the uh, UK data, and then the uh, German ZEW, German GDP, and then the retail sales primarily in uh, North America. So could be some action. Um, jury's out on the dollar. Let's see how things shape up tomorrow. Good luck. Cheers.